Kerry Melville and Ruth Graham. Uh, Ruth is the Education Outreach Officer of uh, Golden Thread. And Kerry, you're, you're the link with the Greater Village Yeah, I used to work for the Greater Village Regeneration Trust, which is based in the village. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the project? Or Well, the project started in uh, April 2010. The gallery approached us with the ICTU and they wanted to um, come into the village and do a piece of work looking at migration. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it fitted in quite well with stuff that we were doing. So we put an application into Belfast City Council and that was awarded, I think it was last May. And we've had three, it was originally two artists. One was um, working on a video and one was going to be working on a piece of visual artwork, which you can see in the background. And um, it's turned out to be four artists, which is really good. Um, Joanna, Joanna's been working with two groups over over an eight-week period um, over the past three months, well, eight sessions over the last three months, and she's put together this piece at the back. Um, Duncan's been working with the local schools. Philip was uh, doing interviews with me. We collected, I think it was the 53 interviews with, with local people to try and get their ideas of what migration was about and how it affected them and how it affected the local area and particularly the migrants who were working in the area. It's really interesting to see the, the, the difference in opinions between what local people thought and what the migrants thought. Um, it's been it's been quite an interesting process. And then from, from the gallery's point of view, you say you started off with two and then you had four yeah. um, artists. And how's it been from your side of things? It's been really interesting. I mean, I think because we started off with migration as a topic and it is quite a loaded subject and it was kind of something that we'd talked about with the Irish Congress of Trade Unions and it was important to try and address it. But when the artists kind of came into the area, um, they found maybe that it was best taking it, like instead of all approaching it maybe head on, taking lots of different angles and trying to more like seed ideas into yeah. people and maybe involve people more on a one-to-one -one kind of more intimate kind of level so that worked really I mean the interviews was a great way of doing that and then the interviews also provided a lot of um, kind of footage and information for the artists to kind of further yeah. further travel on but I mean I do see a lot of the stuff that's been done as it's just typical like when it comes to the kind of edge, end of the project you think oh, oh there's loads more but I think that's brilliant though because it shows but but it, it also force that people who are participating in it if they come along and like it then it's really an opportunity for them to say why not do some more whether yeah. it's done on a completely um, kind of do-it-yourself way they could do it informally amongst themselves or they can do it with artists or they might want to do it with writers yeah. or singers. And, and I know I came anything. into the gallery one time as it was when Duncan and Joanna were mm -hmm. doing were in doing a workshop mm -hmm. and you had all, all the um, elderly people oh, in yeah, they were whistling and, and, and they were things. whistling mm -hmm. and then Duncan was drawing them mm -hmm. and the whole thing was mm -hmm. just it was mm -hmm. just so special and I went mm -hmm. in the middle of them and stole all their sandwiches. <laughs> That's um, right. <laughs> But it was it was just so special, and uh -huh. you could see how how much the, the you know the people were really enjoying it. And there were some of the people were in the give and take. Yeah, I mean, some well. so it has been an enjoyable process, but it's yeah. also been a very difficult process. Yeah. I mean, it's mm -hmm. thrown up a lot of Challenges. really, mm -hmm. really awkward, horrible, nasty yeah. opinions, which frankly I didn't think were quite as prevalent as they yeah, yeah, are. Yeah. And that's something that that that. that is going to take a long time to fix. It's, it's not fixable through an art project at all in any way, shape or form. But I'm hoping that this, even even some of the interviews and stuff, people were starting to change their minds. Uh -huh. Even within the That's interviews, when you started to challenge um, people and about think, their perceptions. I think, well, I suppose, I think art could be used as a tool in order to question that in a mm -hmm. kind of, it is a very poignant way, but it could be quite gentle to kind of, people feel less threatened yeah. answering it in an art situation yeah, than they, they have do situations. Yeah, we I mean the, the trust has always used art as a tool to get people in yeah. to, to try and to try and get them involved in regeneration activities. Um, it because it's such a benign force yeah. and it can but but it can be very, very effective. Very effective. It's it's good. It's been it's been a good project. It's not finished yet. I mean we've still got a book to go that's gonna be launched in about another month or so. 
and that's going to be um, that's 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 the one piece that's going to hit hit a lot of the myths quite directly, basically. So it's going to be it's going to be a little booklet that's going to show some of the very contentious ideas and, and, and any challenge plan, any plans have you to migrate it to another country when when the birds are village, going <laughs> village first the village in sandy row first village we're looking first, for um, I, um, yeah, there is actually quite seriously an option to do that a friend of mine um, is based in Moster, yeah. and she's mm -hmm. doing a massive art project which is almost mm -hmm. identical to this and they have um, they're, they're waiting on a grant mm -hmm. from the EU. If they get that, then we will actually take this to Mostar, but if not... It would also be a nice echo of what Phil's done with the video, because he um, went on the residency to, in Canada, like um, yeah. near the end of the project. It was so actually yeah, the project to took longer than we thought, than we thought it, and then yeah. Phil's residency came up. But he actually used his residency a bit to um, feed into the project, because oh, he nice. discovered that Canada, I think, or is it Banff? Part of it was called the village as well. It was, and we oh, thought right. that was nice. Yeah, and then no, he started nice. looking into the bird aspect. Mm. And then Joanna was also, um, she was doing a lot of correspondence with my brother, in fact, because he's a bird watcher. So <laughs> he's a twitcher. He's not a twitcher. No, no he's not he a just twitcher. watcher. He's, he's, what's um, the difference between twitching and watching? The twitchers are more for ticking people off, All ticking right. birds off, not people ticking ticking them off and you've seen them, oh, you've seen yeah, them. Oh, you've just seen counting them. and like it's more competitive twitching. Right. Um, the purest bird watcher is more poetic and ah. loving towards the birds. Oh, that's <laughs> like, awesome. that's, so. okay. that's great.